All right, welcome back everyone, JTL81, back on Microsoft Flight Simulator, continuing our coastal trip of America. Take two on this one, as the first one didn't work with the new A320, so we're going to stick to the old girl, the old original A320 Airbus, and hopefully we get a better result with this. So, launching leg 25 today from here in Crescent City and heading for Portland. So estimated flight time is just about 50 minutes. So let's get into our startup procedure. So we want the batteries on. And we've got comms too, so that's good. Okay, all the pumps are on. APU bleed we want on. Master switch and start our APU. Was that 13? Airbus Victor Hotel, Juliet Tango 81 cleared to Portland Airport as filed. Climb and maintain 13,000 feet. Yep. Departure is 124 decimal 85 squawk 2351. All right, so APU is spooling up. So we've got all that. APU is on, pumps are on, so we can go down now. Turn our ignition on. Kick engine one in the guts. Engine one's turning. Engine 2 in the guts. Engine 2 is turning. Right, then we do have our navigation set up today. That's good. So I don't know what it is with the new obviously, A320 version 2. Um, our IFR flight was not logged. Um, ATC was not receiving. And I could not use um, ground service as well, so hence we'll try this and we'll go from there. So, still just waiting, everything's just getting up to speed. We have a look at our flight plan, is our waypoint so far. So, we'll leave it at that there. While that's spooling, I'll actually bring that back up. So we've got that there. What was that? The clearance forwards in 30 minutes. That's fine. We'll be gone way before then. So you can see here, we'll be taking off. Flying a little bit inland. And then we're going to turn and head north again, flying all our waypoints up here to Oak City, and then swinging around, coming over the river down into Portland. So it should be quite, quite a nice scenic flight in. What are you doing there, mate? Got to be careful I don't blow this little plane out of the water. Can I now go in? Now it's our taxi. Ready to go. So, which runway are we taking off on? I reckon that one there. Yep, I'll be moving your car too, mate, if I were you. Otherwise you're going to get squashed. I don't believe Crescent City Airport is designed for 
um, aircraft of this size uh, hopefully there is going to be enough runway it's going to be a bit of a test but while we're actually still taxiing out going all our lights Taxi lights on, landing lights can go on, turn lights on, fasten your seatbelts. Oh, there's no traffic around, so I right to just roll on out. Try to go as deep as we can. Just gonna put the brakes on, spool her up. Alright, here we go. And release. So, 80 knots, 100. We need to get about 160, 180. It's going to be close. One seventy rotating. Oh, just. All right, I gear up. Round we go. Flight director on. APU on. Could have used the other runway, but that's fine. We just got off the ground, that was good. Alright, so go up top. Landing lights can go off. Taxi light can go off. And my turn light can go off. That's all fine. And the APU generator on. Go up top to ATC. Oh, we're tuned back in now. To Seattle, that's good. Right on. So, as we're leaving Present City, what's that? I wonder what that looks like. Maybe a correctional facility? Maybe? I don't know. Right, well, while we've been heading up to 10,000 feet and to our waypoint, have a quick look back here. Uh, Gasquet, California.
What have we got up here? Illinois. In Oregon. 240. Copy that. Just passing 12,000 feet now. Still climbing, all our Andy ices are on. Boom. Throttle climb, auto throttle should be on. Yep. We're on our waypoint, so. Back in again, so looks like we're going through Illinois. Out to uh, Medford. And not like, doesn't look like there's quite a lot here. We've got another aircraft coming. Don't know whether we'll be in contact with him or he'll be past us. So we've got a bit of a distance to go before we get. To that turn down at Medford, so we'll just cruise at the moment, sitting at 320 knots, just passing almost on 17,000 feet now. Beautiful Rockies out there. Oh, there's a little bit of snow on the caps there, or whether that's just a sun reflection, I don't know. It means pretty dry there, you'd think they'd have the same sort of cap effect. In a noise. So we're continuing up to Connolly. See there, Connolly's just on, come up to 17 the nautical miles. Heading is 040. Just coming up to 22,000 feet. Connolly's the next one there. Should we want on there because it shows you the time. 15.54. So just on two minutes before we hit Connolly. They're saying. So engines are slowing down. So we're obviously coming up to 24,000 feet. Is that back archers ranch. Nice. So I know this is supposed to be a coastal trip, but it's not really a lot along the coast we can see. So going a little bit inland to Portland. Next flight will be from Portland to Seattle. And then hopefully the final one will be from Seattle to Vancouver. We'll land in Canada and that will conclude the trip. Uh, whether we start another uh, coastal trip, I'm not too sure at the moment. Got a fair few things on my plate I'm trying to deal with, so 
not sold on whether I will do another one. I was thinking about doing the uh, coast of the United Kingdom. I reckon that'd be pretty cool. Um, or I was thinking of doing another bush trip. There is a, a bush trip of Hawaii I was looking at. So whether I look into doing that one, I'm not sure. Or there is actually a couple others. So what I might do actually after this flight, we'll jump out and we'll go through what bush trips are available. Because um, I've done quite a few. I'll give you a give you a choice. Um, and then just leave in the comments what which one you want to see and we'll go from there so it actually looks like a quite a large town down there what town's that there's a runway there it won't tell us So why don't I have a quick look on Google Maps? So there's Crescent City. I'm heading inland a bit. I wonder if it's Wilderville or Grants Pass. Actually looks like Grants Pass. Having a look at the river system through it. Yeah, uh, yep. I reckon that is Grants Pass down there. There you go. We've got what, Rogue Valley over here, there's Rogue River, Gold Hill. Oh. Come up to Janats. That's why we're about to start our turn to head back north. Just bring the map up. We'll go into that. Yeah, there we go, Janats, and then we're on to Oscar Echo Delta. Make our turn and start our run north. That was that plane. He's already passed us. It's cool. So, uh, is that Burrell? Burrell? Oakridge Ranch, Beagle Sky Ranch, Sutton on Road. Look at those mountains there. The big plateaus at the top of it. That's pretty cool. Big interstate there running through the valley. There we go, making our banking turn. So pretty much, yeah, bang on north. Probably three. What's that 350? Looks like we'll be running. Shady Cove Air Park. So 
There you go. Next one, Moxie 350, 96 nautical miles. So according to that, 1613. So about 14 minutes for this for this next waypoint. We're pretty much now all set. We can turn our seatbelt light off, smoking light off if anyone wants to spark up. And now we just kick back and cruise. I don't think we're quite high enough to leave our jet streams out the back. But all the anti ice is on anyway, so we don't fog up. Really like flying this thing. This is probably one of my favourite planes or aircraft, should say, in in this game. But I'm really looking forward to when. Microsoft Flight 2024 comes out. I don't know if they've actually had the release date released yet. But that one would be good because I'll probably stream that as well. Because you can do career modes in that one. And the main one I want to do is the aerial firefighting. As in being a firefighter myself um, and working with aircraft during fire seasons. It's really intrigued me a bit more and hence why I've been doing a lot of these flight simulators I'm really into my aircraft side of things so it'd be good to see a pilot's point of view doing aerial firefighting because eventually that's where I'm trying to get myself in my career A bit of a lake out there, is it? Yeah. Alright, so while we're cruising along. That, that's not me. Something that we haven't done for a while. Haven't really done any of our facts. What was that change of radio? Seattle Center, Airbus Victor Hotel, Juliet Tango, yep. 81 flight level 240. Airbus Victor Hotel, Juliet Tango, 81 Seattle Center, radar contact, continue. Okay, so continuing on our path, that's cool. I was going to say one thing that we haven't done for a while is. Um, some facts on the places that we're flying to. So, Portland is Oregon's largest city. It sits on the Columbia and Willamette rivers in the shadow of the snow-caped Mount Hood, known for its parks, bridges, bicycle paths, as well as for its eco-friendliness and its microbreweries. Oh yeah, we might have spent a couple of nights there. And coffee houses. Iconic Washington Park encompasses sites from the formal Japanese gardens to Oregon Zoo and its railway. The city hosts thriving arts, theatres, and music scenes. It was founded in 8th of February 1851. Population as of 2022 is 635,000. What other interesting facts have we got? Portland is the most bike friendly city in America. It is home to the smallest park in the world. It has one of the largest urban forests in the country. There's a volcano within the city limits. You're right. 
What else is it famous for? Uh, that's all I can find at the moment. What are five interesting facts about Oregon? Oregon has no sales tax. So it's basically like everything is on sale all the time. That's pretty cool. What else is there? Oregon is for lovers. Her birthday is Valentine's Day. Oregon border is bordered by Washington, Idaho, Nevada, California, and the Pacific Ocean. Oh, there's some interesting facts to take home with you. So how are we travelling to Moxie? If you've still got 54 miles to go. 16.13. But 16.05, that's alright. We're getting there. A quick look at the... Uh, very far while we're here. There's Moxie there. And Portal Venets to O City. Once we get to O City is when we're gonna start our approach. So see we'll turn and head east. Sorry, head west. Out here rounding the rivers. Coming down in over the river. Oh, what do you want us to do that? You fucking kidding? Why wouldn't you just land straight? Um. So what are we gonna want? We're gonna want. We don't want 10 right, or 28 left. 10 right, I think it'll be. So, yeah, I don't understand why the fuck they want us to do this. Why can't we just come straight in? Anyway, we'll see what happens. go from there so so I used to be able to how could I there we go no 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 uh... Cameras. Got the drone view. Hello. Now check the engines. Yep, going all right. Oh, don't get there, guys. Get sucked in.
Where we go in all of that? There's our wheels. Uh, lavatory. In the cockpit. Cottage Grove down there. Hobby. All the pilots on the wing there. It's pretty cool. Jasper's Ridge. And that's enough playing around. So coming back out over the Rockies now into more of a flat ground. So just on 16 nautical miles now to Moxie. Still saying 16.13, so two minutes. Seems about right. Oh, the little mountain peaks out there. By Mount Fuji. Right, let's have a look. I wonder if that's well that's this one here I wonder if this is Willamette Pass Resort and then that one is Mount Bachelor Ski Resort is up there we're just so uh, we're going over the Willamette National Park and ahead of us here I believe will be Springfield Eugene. Well, that's Roseburg. Possibly. Just how can we still see the? No, I can't quite see the coast one. Uh, not sure. It might be a little bit further in. Let's just have a quick look, see if I can, I'm just looking on Google Maps. Oh, so there's the coast, oh, okay, so we're not really. And Portland's not that far away either, so. We have got another couple of planes on the same flight path, as you can see. Quite a bit of distance between us all. So 
Make sure we got that. Where's that river system there? Alright, we've backed our revs right off. And our Y. Anyway. Probably just to give the traffic ahead of us a bit of bit of time, I think. So what have we got there? Laffey Fields, Daniel Fields. I actually knew a bike named Daniel Fields. Went to school with him. Shower. Cube Hole, Lebanon State, Mount Hope, so we've just past Moxley. On to Portland, 16, 17, so two minutes. So 11 nautical miles, it's about right. Right, oh, we're getting told to drop here, so. Descend and maintain 11,000 feet Airbus Tango 81. 11,000 it is. Down we go. Better tell everyone. Put your diaries out. Put your seatbelt on. All right. So once we get to portal, still got a bit to go, but I think they're just trying to get us down and ready to go when we do. Green Tree Ranch, Gillette Field. Kingston Park as well. The hatch. Doesn't tell us what that one is. A nice little river system running up through the valley there. That's pretty cool. Miller, Tormund, Props, Paradise, not Paradise, Paradise, Mitchell Field, yeah, still coming down, just coming up to 18,000 feet, still dropping. You see the see the lights on the runway just here? That's pretty cool. Sounds like a pretty busy airport there. Fairly large sort of town. Still a lot of fields, a little farming, which is cool. That's it right, yeah, I did. Take out of it. Golf course here by the side of the road. It's a 
surprising how you can see very dry in through the town and that and then just luscious green out to the east of it Iron Crown So now we're on to Vance, it's 11 nautical miles, 16.22, so two minutes out from that one. So we're obviously getting pretty close. So there we are actually, it's not that far out. Once we get to Vance, we get to O City. We we'll start our approach. You better put the GPS line back on. Silverton Airport. Eleven and a half thousand feet now leveling off. Skydive Oregon. That's it, here comes Vance. Sixteen twenty one, we're just a little bit behind schedule. Uh, we pass that now and on to O City, which is 30, 1628. Alright. It's not that far to go now. Oh. Thanks, doll. Hey. No, oh, no. I wonder what they farm through here. Whether it's just like wheat farms or silage for stock feed. I do what's that? He's got like a little lake. And whether, yeah, whether they make hay out of it. So what we got? Seven thousand feet. Descend and maintain seven thousand feet. Keep speed not above two 
Alright, so down to 7,000 feet now. Portland, that's not our airport. There's no way I'd be able to land there. That's cool. So that's the river there, so that's Portland ahead of us. Alright, yeah, okay. I can't quite see the airport. Alright, so here we are here. Quite a bit of traffic coming on. Um, I don't know why they've got us to come this way then. Why didn't they get us to approach out this way? If that's a flight path for everyone. Anyway, doesn't matter. So, seven and a half thousand feet we're at now. Speed's two four zero. Dropping a little bit. It's fine. I wonder if this is actually like an outskirt town of Portland, but it's still part of it, I don't know. So we've got an industrial area over there. Oh, pardon me. Pretty big interstate down there, overpasses and that. Houses all up in the hills. We got Rosemont, West Lynn, Bolton. This looks like there's a school down there. Nestled in the hills, that's pretty cool. Robin Wood, Wiley's. Oh, there's a little bit of a High rises there. Still can't quite see where our airport is. I'm not really seeing any flashing lights or anything. Approach mode on. That to 200 when we come into approach. All right, there's the airport there, right on the water's edge. That's cool. Five thousand. Making our turn.
the city of Portland there. The graphics aren't really great. I don't know what's happened there. They were really good till updates were done. Once again, they've shit themselves again. Kind of, def you know, makes you feel like what you're doing to try to see all this stuff is not really worth it because it's just so pixelated and. Alright, expedite it. Well, it's still dropping. Coming down to four thousand feet. Rotating, we throw our landing gear. Lower our first bit of flaps. So there's an aircraft that's just taken off. I can't quite see him now. You can just see the green light here. So I don't know what quite what direction he's flying into. I think we might just, once this turn goes on. We'll just do the throttle ourselves at the moment. We'll let the plane do its turn. Right, so here we turn. So we're lining up. Right, eh? Going on the runway, right out on the on the water. Cool. The autopilot's off. We're in control. 
Second notch of flaps. Speed brakes on. Don't know why the speed brakes are on. Don't know if I'll have time. It's armed, but. Alright. Give that out of the way. Quite good. Thousand well, feet. And rotate. Oh, a bit of a bounce, but we are down. Two in reverse. So we're down. We turn this, take the speed brakes off. Flaps can go back up. Uh, what do we want? Ground. Not map. Ground. Which one just more nice? She said, didn't she? Oh jeez, we timed that right. Another Neo came back in. Portland Ground Airbus Victor Hotel, Juliet Tango, 8 1 taxi to the gate. Airbus Victor Hotel, Juliet Tango, 8 1 taxi to gate Echo 5, in taxiway Alpha Victor Kilo. Taxi to gate Echo 5 via taxiway Alpha Victor Kilo. Oh, you can just see it there. Pretty simple, straightforward. Oh, we've made it to Portland, so I believe two more stops to go and we'll reach Canada. Might have to do the next flight to, to Seattle in this. We'll just have to see the distance and what else we can use. Get me to hold because of the cars. Roger Airbus Tango
Right here, here we come. We've got the baggage handlers there. Quite see, old mate. A little bit off our line here, but all right. So we're pulling up. Brakes are on. Got the boom gate coming out. And he's attached. Alright, so... Engines can shut down. Strobe lights off. Any ice can go off. We'll connect to external power. APU can go off. And we turn our tanks off. And we turn our batteries off. That's it, all power is off. So we have landed in. Where are you going? I can build in the way. So there we are, we've made it to Portland. Next flight, like I said, will be to Seattle. Thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for the next one.